Mama Beach here. I wanted to come on and do a video today about a topic I am pretty darn passionate about. And for those of you that know me outside of YouTube, you know how I feel about this topic and it's pretty common knowledge among the Facebook handbag collector groups what my stance is. But I've never actually come on here to talk about it and I think it would be a great resource for people um, that I get contacted by asking questions about this topic and I can just point them towards this video. So what I'm going to talk about today is Facebook group raffles. And for those of you who aren't on Facebook, you may not be familiar with this, so I'm going to give a little bit of background information. So in handbag collector groups especially, and I'm sure it happens in other collector groups on Facebook, um, the admins of these groups run what are called raffles. So raffles are where you pay a fee to buy a ticket, whether it's a dollar, five dollars, or ten dollars, and you get entered into a raffle to win a handbag. So in theory, how it should work is you pay five dollars, or maybe you buy a bunch of spots. Say you pay fifty dollars, you buy ten spots. And then they randomly draw a winner and hopefully you're gonna win that handbag for a fraction of the cost and you're gonna be the lucky one that gets to take it home. Um, so that's how people kind of get into doing these and it definitely has a following in the groups. There are certain people that always play the raffles and some people only play every once in a while. And some people like me have never spent a dime on the on a raffle because for me personally, it is just such a racket. And it didn't take me long to realize that the admins of these groups who are running these raffles, a lot of them, and I'm gonna try to speak kindly because I know not all admins are the same, but some of them really use these as a source of income because it didn't take me long to figure out that I had seen the same bag on a discount website like I Love Dooney or at a coach outlet or on Nordstrom Rack for $100 and now I'm seeing it turned around in a raffle with 100 spots that are $5 each. So the admin's walking away with $500 from this raffle they maybe have to spend a little bit on shipping and a little bit, you know, for their time to run the raffle and draw the winner. But they're walking away with loads of cash from these things. And for a while, I feel like people didn't talk about it. They didn't talk about how much of a source of income this is for people. But recently, um, on a perspective, a particular group on Facebook, the admin started deleting people from her group that weren't playing in raffles because she wasn't getting money off of them. And to her, the Facebook group and the raffles were just about making money and she really didn't care about anybody else who might be in the group for kind of camaraderie purposes. They're useless to her. She just wants to make a buck. So it's starting to kind of come out now in the groups and people are talking about it more. Um, so I just thought it was a great time to do this video. Now, in addition to the amount of cash that people are making off of these, which by the way, they will tell you that the money that they make, they put back towards another bag to buy for a future raffle, which I'm sorry is BS because if you do the math, the amount that they're making increases exponentially every time. It just doesn't make sense. Unless they're also doing tons of giveaways, there's no way they could ever catch up to, to spending the, the, the amount that they're making because it's just, it's crazy. So just, if you're somebody who plays on these raffles, just keep that in mind. If that doesn't bother you, you really don't care how much people are making off of these and you just want to win a bag, go for it. I just wanna put the information out there for you guys to consider. The other thing I want to talk about is that these raffles are against PayPal and Facebook policies and could technically be reported to both. So for violation of Facebook um, terms and conditions, same for PayPal. And the reason that they're against their policies is because it's gambling. 
Okay, so when you are gambling, there are three elements that you need to have for something to be considered gambling. One is that you pay money to participate. The second one is that the winner is chosen randomly or by chance. And the third element is that there is a prize or money or some type of winnings at the end. So if you have all three of these elements, then what you're doing is gambling. And when you play in these raffles, you're paying money, the winner is being chosen randomly, and you're winning a prize. So that's considered gambling. And if you live in a, a state where you're not supposed to be gambling or running gambling, then that is also illegal. Um, so how you can get around this, for example, is to remove one of these elements. So when you see giveaways in groups, what you've removed is the element where people have to pay. So you have somebody chosen randomly and there's a prize. Since there's only two elements there, it's not considered gambling. Another way you can get around is to have the winner chosen based on merit. So let's say you have a photo contest and whoever has the best photo wins the prize. So people pay play five, pay five dollars, so they're still paying money, but they have to submit a photo. So the best photo wins, that's chosen based on merit, not randomly, and they win the prize. So that's not gambling. So you see there's ways around it, but the way that these groups are running the raffles are just blatant gambling that's illegal against Facebook policy and against um, PayPal policy. And honestly, I don't know why PayPal and Facebook don't do more to shut these um, raffle uh, runners down because it's so obvious. If you have a PayPal account that has $1 increments coming in every day, it's just like, hello, something's going on here. I don't know why it doesn't raise red flags. And I don't know how these groups don't get reported more on Facebook than they do and why Facebook doesn't do more to shut them down. Okay, the third thing that I wanna talk about in this video is that while I am sure most of these groups are choosing winners randomly, and most of them use a site called random.org, which is a random number generator that is legitimate, there are ways to fix the drawing. There are sites that look random that you can program to pick a specific number. There is a fake random.org site out there that looks like, just like random.org, but you can fix the drawing to pick a particular number. And so I know a lot of these groups do live drawings and stuff is a way to prove that they're not fixing the drawing. But frankly, there are ways out there to, to fix it and have it look totally real. And that's why sometimes like little alarm bells were going off my head when I was watching these raffles in groups that I used to be in. And the same people were winning a lot or friends of the admin were winning a lot. And in some cases, the admins were playing and winning from another admin. And it's just like, it's just, there's just way too much tangled money going on and it could not be legitimate and the drawing could not be that, could not be random, it could be fixed and I just don't know it and it's illegal and it's against Facebook and PayPal policy. And for me, it's just not worth it. It's not worth playing. I don't wanna throw my money away and give it to somebody who, frankly, I feel is greedy and is kind of pulling the wool over people's eyes, saying, you know, people are always saying in these groups like, oh, they're so kind to put these on for us because, you know, it's a lot of work and, you know, it really helps us have fun in the groups to do these raffles. Hello, they're making so much money off of you. It's. It, it's not about kindness, it's about the almighty dollar. So I just wanted to put this video out there. I don't know how long it's gonna stay up on YouTube because I know from experience that the admins of these groups will report my videos and have YouTube take them down if they don't like the content. So I just, for as long as it stays up there, up here on YouTube, I hope you guys will find it educational and at least think about it a little bit um, and I like I said at the beginning I know everyone's not gonna share my opinion this is just my opinion and if you don't agree with it you can move along and live your life doing your raffles and that's fine with me 
all right? <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope this um, gave you a little bit of um, information about Facebook raffles and I hope you enjoyed um, watching. If you have any comments about this topic or personal experiences that have happened to you um, when it comes to getting kicked out of groups because you weren't playing enough, um, when it comes to things that kind of made the hair stand up on the back of your neck like this isn't right the way that this was drawn or the way the admin's running this raffle, please post it in the comments section below. Like I love when you guys have discussions with each other in the comments section and I love reading what you guys have to say. So I hope that you will post below if you have anything to add to this topic. All right guys, I will see you on my next video. Bye.